Greetings tasty liquor lovers. Welcome to Swill and Grog's A Beer Review number 9. And what do we have for you today? Gossa. Gossa is 5.2% alcohol by volume. It's a pale lager brewed in Austria in a not so impressive 330 ml bottle. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to follow up uh, that Polena Oktoberfest beer that came in that nice one litre can. But anyhow, um, without further ado, as I always seem to say, I think we should open this bottle up that's uh, nicely chilled and uh, pour it into a nice ice cold glass. Alright. This appears to be a twist top too, by the way. And it is. Alright. Okay, let's pour this out. Alright. Okay. A lot of bubbles rushing to the top there. It's quite a nice pour. It's a decent amount of head, although it's uh, yeah, obviously dissipating like uh, very rapidly. Let's just pour the remainder in there. All right, okay. Hmm. All right, let's have a look. So appearance. Hmm. What can we say? It's a very pale golden colour. Yeah, I mean, uh, not really all that much head on it, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it still looks uh, quite impressive, as uh, most beer does to somebody like myself. Uh, let's have a look here. Ah, the smell. Hmm. Certainly a sweet multi aroma that, uh, yeah, does uh, entice somebody like myself to uh, drink it. So, I think the next thing that we need to assess is the taste. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, I'm pleased to report that this is in no way offensive. Um, yeah, initially, uh, there's a very grainy, malty kind of taste um, with a real minimal bitterness. But as with most beers, the taste seems to change as you uh, drink more of it. Still tasting that, uh, yeah, that grainy malt. Ooh. Yeah, it's a good balance of flavours. Yeah, it's a little watery, but um, it would. Uh, you know, of course, rate very high on the drinkability scale. Um, you, know, you can certainly take a six pack of this to a party and, uh, yeah, put it away with ease. Mm. But uh, do make sure you, uh, you know, put it in a, an esky uh, full of uh, full of ice. Yeah, got to keep it cold. Ooh. Hmm, I am enjoying this a great deal. Yeah, my only complaint would be that it's just a, a little bit watery and, um, yeah, just a, a kind of a little bit bland also, but yeah, it's typical really of this uh, style of beer at the end of the day. Now, as for a rating, it's not great, but it's certainly drinkable, so I would um, be inclined to give it a 6.5 out of 10.
But anyway, let me just finish the remainder of it. There we go. All done. All right. So, I'm pleased to report um, that uh, I've purchased a compact HD camera. Uh, so you're going to see the quality of these reviews uh, improve drastically as a result. It's just a waiting game now, really, um, because I ordered it online, as uh, you do with uh, most things these days, to get it for a good price. So uh, hopefully uh, it won't take too long. I mean, I would be anticipating delays with the Easter break and everything. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, it certainly will be good once it arrives, and uh, you'll all see that when uh, yeah I post some reviews that are uh, in uh, yeah nice 1080p high definition. Anyhow, I do have to say a, a big hello to Sir Gav, Mr. Dean, and Mr. David. I hope you're all having an awesome Thursday night. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, that brings us to the end of another Swill and Grog beer review. So, so <laughs> sorry. Alright, so, until next time, fare thee well.